Hello, I would like to demonstrate a database that combines Wikidata with the OpenStreetMap data in a single RDF store, otherwise known as a triple store. We can imagine triple store as a giant single table with three columns. All of Wikidata and OSM data is stored in that giant table together. So when querying, we must be careful to only request what we actually need. The first two columns in this table only store URLs, whereas the third column can store either a URL or a value. The first column represents the subject. In our case, this could be a URL representing OSM ID or Wikidata ID. The second column is a predicate, a property of the subject, and must also be a URL. For OpenStreetMap, that could be either a metadata field, such as the object type, here they're shown in purple, or it could be a tag created by the mapper, such as a name or address shown in brown. The last column is the object or value. The value can be a string, a number, boolean, or GPS coordinates. Or, just like the first two columns, it can also be a URL, which effectively allows a reference to another subject. In the second to last entry, the Wikidata tag is not stored as a string, but instead it is stored as a subject URL, which means we can connect it to all the entries that describe that Wikidata item. Using URLs everywhere is too verbose, so instead we can define a few prefixes. Those are just the ones related to OSM data, but there are also many more for Wikidata. We can rewrite the previous table using prefixes into this form, which is by far more readable. Now let's see how we can get the same data directly from the RDF database with the Sparkle query. This where clause matches any entries with this OSM ID for the subject and uses wildcards for the second and the third columns. Each triplet statement must end in a period. The query will print the predicate and the object values. The question mark represents that this is a variable. Running this query gives us two columns. Note that the predicate URL for tags point to the OSM wiki tag description pages. Also note that the values for Wikidata and Wikipedia are, tags are URLs too and can be used to view Wikidata entry. You can see the entry for Brain Park. Now, let's try to use this Wikidata OSM combination for useful data validation purposes. To start, we're going to make a disambiguation page query. Very often, OSM objects point to incorrect Wikipedia or Wikidata entries, entries that represent multiple meanings of the same name instead of the specific meaning. Here's a query to find such errors. We're going to run it. And in here, this query uh, looks for any entries in a triple store that contain OSM meta field called type. Uh, this is a predicate. Any value here and any entry here. But that same entry, that same uh, subject, must have an OSM tag called Wikidata. And that Wikidata tag, the WD here, has to have a P31 instance of field, which points to disambiguation page. Note this interesting uh, text here. What this means is that a Wikidata may be a disambiguation itself, or it may be an entry that contains P279, which is a subclass of. Sub in, in other words, what this means is get me either something that is a disambiguation or something that is a subclass of a disambiguation or subclass of subclass of disambiguation. Zero or more. Uh, lastly, we optionally get Wikipedia tag if it's available, but it, this is not a requirement. In other words, if an entry has it, we'll get it. If it doesn't, it's okay. And we also convert any Wikidata tags using this special label service to either English, uh, uh, German, French, etc. Um, 
if the la such label is defined. This way, right here, in, in addition to WD, we get WD label. So running this query produces these results. This is just the first 10. And these nodes, if we examine them, like for example, uh, Gorky, which is probably in Poland, right? Um, so this entry has a Q, uh, a Q number and uh, a link to Wikipedia. But if you look in that Wikipedia article, we see instantly at the very top that there is a disambiguation symbol. So this might be all these different locations and they clearly are. This is not as, even though I do not speak Polish, this is clearly not a single location, but instead it's different places. So this needs to be fixed. We can modify this query to make it uh, more specific to our region. Even though the geolocation is not fully enabled just yet, we can do some other filtering. For example, we can say, oh, let's just find any Wikipedia tag that begins with a, that points to an English Wikipedia. And we should probably also make it a required field now instead of an optional field. So Wikipedia tag must be present and it must be pointing to English Wikipedia. Let's run this and now we'll see that the results are all pointing to English Wikipedia and again we can click on uh, an article and see that this is clearly a disambiguation page uh, about multiple locations. Let's take a look at a different query this time. Something that has nodes that are too far away from the location that's specified in OpenStreetMaps versus Wikidata. This is another query that tries to get all the OSM IDs of type node since node is the only one at this point that has a location meta field, which is basically a, a uh, latitude and longitude coordinates, as well as the Wikidata. And the Wikidata must in turn also have a P625, which is the geolocation of that uh, Wikidata page. Plus then we use a geof distance function, which calculates the distance between the two points as it is, and then we filter it to be greater than 50. We also order this result by uh, de decreasing distance, so the most distant is the one we're mostly interested in, and we try to run this query. Now this query runs a bit longer because it has to analyze all of the location nodes, as well as the ones that have Wikidata and the Wikidata ha that has locations and it calculates it and we find that this place called WAFs is the furthest away. If you found these queries useful, please consider adding more queries as well as fixing the existing mistakes and uh, add them here. Contribute to integrating them with JOSM or MapRoulette or other quality tools. Thank you very much. Hope to hear your feedback.